Today, we're going to explore how ecosystems work like a team. But instead of players on a sports team, we've got producers, consumers, and decomposers. Each of these groups has a specific role in keeping the ecosystem healthy and balanced. It's like a giant game of survival where everyone's doing their part. Ready to meet the team? Let's dive in. First up, we've got the producers. Producers are the foundation of every ecosystem because they make their own food using sunlight through a process called photosynthesis. These are mostly plants, but algae and some bacteria are also part of this group. In a forest ecosystem, trees, shrubs, and grasses are the producers. They take energy from the sun, water from the soil, and carbon dioxide from the air to create food, or glucose, that not only feeds them, but also provides energy for the rest of the ecosystem. Without producers, there'd be no food for any other living things. Next in line are the consumers. Consumers can't make their own food, so they rely on eating other organisms, either plants or animals. There are different types of consumers depending on what they eat. Herbivores are plant eaters. For example, deer munch on grass and leaves, making them primary consumers since they're directly eating the producers. Carnivores are meat eaters. Predators like wolves and eagles are carnivores because they eat other animals. These are secondary or even tertiary consumers because they're further up the food chain. Omnivores eat both plants and animals. Humans, bears, and raccoons are examples of omnivores. They enjoy a varied diet. Consumers are important because they keep the population of other organisms in check. For instance, Herbivores make sure plants don't grow out of control, and carnivores prevent herbivore populations from becoming too large. Last but not least, we've got the decomposers, nature's cleanup crew. These are organisms that break down dead plants and animals, returning valuable nutrients back into the soil. Decomposers include bacteria, fungi, and some insects like earthworms and beetles. Without decomposers, dead matter would just pile up, and ecosystems would run out of nutrients. Thanks to decomposers, the cycle of life keeps going because they recycle nutrients, making the soil richer and better for plants to grow in. Let's take a closer look at how these roles fit together. Imagine a simple food chain in a forest. The sun provides energy for the producers, let's say the grass. A herbivore, like a rabbit, eats the grass. A carnivore, like a fox, hunts and eats the rabbit. When the fox eventually dies, Decomposers, like fungi or bacteria, break down its body, returning nutrients to the soil for the grass to use, and the cycle starts again. But ecosystems aren't just simple chains, they're more like food webs. Each organism can be part of multiple food chains, and their interactions create a complex web of relationships. For example, an omnivore like a bear might eat berries, which are producers, and fish, which are consumers. The bear could be prey to larger predators, or become food for decomposers when it dies. Everything is connected. So what's the big picture? Producers, consumers, and decomposers each play vital roles in the ecosystem. Producers make food, consumers keep populations balanced, and decomposers recycle nutrients. Together they form a cycle that keeps the ecosystem healthy and thriving. Without one of these groups, the whole system could collapse. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you're outside, think about the food chain at play, from the plants in the ground to the animals that eat them, and the decomposers working behind the scenes. It's all part of nature's teamwork.